We are back, baby. Yes. Back with the collaborations. We took the winter off. Yes. For a couple of months. Little hiatus. Good little break for us, but we're back doing our monthly collaborations. And if you haven't seen one of these, this is where we team up with some of our RV YouTube friends. Yep. We all talk about the same topic. Mm -hmm. We put the video out on the same day so that you can get a bunch of different tips and tricks on stuff like we're about to talk about today, which yes. is what? Spring cleaning. Not getting, just cleaning. You're too excited about the cleaning. I love the clean. But getting ready for camping season. Exactly. Which for her is cleaning. Yes. I'm so excited. But we do have a couple other projects that we have to do to prepare for the spring camping season mm -hmm. because we've been wintering all winter long in Florida. Yeah. And we're going to start doing longer trips, longer legs. So we have to make sure everything's good to go for that. So we've been just doing little bitty moves. Yeah. And and let things slide a little. So we got to get back into Yeah. So organized mode. Watch this video and then after this, make sure you pop over mm -hmm. to these other channels and check out their video version of their preparing for their camping season. Yep. And we have some special guests. Yes, we do. This month coming back, Joel yeah. and Tanya from This Is Our Adventure, guests this month, and we have some new regulars. Yes. Happy to welcome Chris and Katrina from our everyday getaway. So you're gonna start seeing them every month in the collaborations, yes, and then we're gonna have excited. different guests along the way. But happy to have them as regulars and happy to have Joel and Tanya. But make sure you pop over to everybody's channel and see what they're doing to get ready for the camping season this year. Can we get started? Can we get started? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna tackle is the dreaded basement. I don't dread it. It's not that bad. Ours is better than most already. Um, but there yeah. are some things that we need to downsize and the reason that you are looking forward to it is why? Because I get to take everything out, clean it, reorganize, go through our stuff, purge. We're going to purge some stuff Yeah. and then put it back in. Well, not only that, but we're adding something today. We are. We're going to carpet the floor. Well, first let me show you what we're working with here. We, we have a lot of space in here. Here's the new the new boards. Um, we got some tools and stuff over there. Of course, we have our, our Big Beard battery set up here. So uh, we have to be careful of that. We just got some chairs and some miscellaneous stuff. During the process of cleaning everything out, we figured out that we have a leak in our water pump. Now Leslie is cutting out where the batteries are going to be. The battery box. And <laughs> theoretically, if we measured everything right, <laughs> this piece of carpet right here should fit perfectly in our storage around all the walls, and batteries, and obstacles. Here's the last minute before shot. All right. There you have it. Carpeted. I think it's good. Now yeah. it's time to go through all the rest Decided. of this crap. Yes. Downsize uh -huh. and then put it all back. Okay. All right. Sweet. All right, there you have it. That's everything. Everything's back in. Uh, that's going to come inside, but everything else is going to stay out here. We did keep a couple of the remnants of carpet that we're going to put around and in, in the middle the of the board so they don't get damaged. Uh, but we just put them in for now. Yeah. And um, this is what we downsized over here. We got rid of almost a whole trash bag full of trash. Yeah. And then uh, the old three drawer plastic chest. And then the remnants of the carpet, which we'll use for padding the boards. And I'll use them as, you know, board pads for when we're playing, too. So we're not yeah. throwing our, board, our bags we, on the ground. We downsized stuff from here. Yeah. All the stuff that was in boxes now fit in the drawers. So we got rid of a lot of boxes, too. Yeah. Worked out pretty good. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter if you're a full-time or part-time or weekend or whatever. Part of getting prepared for the camping season is getting your food storage locations nice and cleaned out and ready and this is an ongoing thing for us because we're full timers and i do this usually weekly yeah. reorganize because you mess things up but we haven't done it since we got back from rv unplugged no. so it's been we, several weeks we threw everything in there for rv unplugged didn't really organize so i'm ashamed of what it looks like right now all right show us your shame it's pretty embarrassing it's bad don't judge us on all the junk food no we like junk food Right. Now you will notice though that we did put the uh, reflexit on that back wall because on days where the sun is hitting this wall it heats up our food and gets yeah. really really hot. It does so I, I put reflexit in the back of all these shelves to help with that. All right get busy lady. I will. I'll come back and see the after. Okay. After. It'll look so much better. Don't throw away any of my good stuff. Such a face. 
All right, bye. All right, I've been outside working really hard. You have done nothing. On all the stuff out there. You were playing cornhole. Cleaning tanks and uh, fixing pumps. Joel did all that. What have you been doing in here? I cleaned the pantry. Well, let's see what you got. Now, when she says clean the pantry, that means she moved everything around and I'm not going to be able to find anything. That's not true. Not true. Oh, yeah. You can actually tell where things are now. <laughs> you can actually see in there, huh? Yeah, that's nice. Much better. Very good. Much more clean. Looks yeah. like we have more space because things are not just strewn about. And I like organize the bins. Yeah. They're nice and pretty now. You'll mess it up by tomorrow, but it's going to be pretty for at least 24 hours. I don't know that I like your tone. <laughs> I don't care if you like my tone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next thing on the list, getting ready for the camping season, is cleaning the tanks. Look at all this going on. There's Joel from Great Adventure RV Repair and Inspections and uh, this is our adventure YouTube channel which is cool because they're going to be part of our collab this month so you'll see him too pop over to his channel and see what they're doing to get ready for the camping season. So I'm using him to get ready for our camping season. So I don't know what he's doing to get ready for his own camping season. I'm working on everybody else's stuff. You'll get around to it. Yeah. So we got the pump replaced. When I say we I mean Joel. But when we put this new pump in, it was leaking immediately from right here. And I guess that's because Amazon sent us a refurbished pump. And Joel, being the great technician that he is, took pieces from the old pump that were good and rebuilt part of that pump there. And so now we got a good functioning pump. Oh yeah, now we get into the good stuff. <laughs> Be glad this isn't smell-o-vision. Well, the black tank's looking pretty good. Got some decent-sized chunks coming out there. Oh, those were, um, those were Leslie. Shut up! <laughs> Leslie! <laughs> well, we're continuing on with getting ready for camping season, and we're doing something that I don't want to do, so we're paying Joel to do it. <laughs> There's his stuff right there, his information if you want him. He does a really good work at an affordable price, so, um, after seeing the Brazen Brits do their own bearings, I decided I don't want to do it. And so I'll pay Joel to do it. So he's in our video again, doing more <laughs> of our preparation for our camping season. And so we got the bearings out on this side. You got the bearings there. And our old seals are there. We got our new seals there. And uh, it's interesting to see all this stuff. I already um, greased up some of, the, some of the stuff here. I don't know what any of this is called, but... Um, and then you check the brakes, make sure that uh, we still got enough brake left. We still got a decent amount of brake pad there, so I'm not worried about that. But he's gonna repack these bearings over here and uh, get us back ready for another season of camping. Yeah, look at that. Nastiness. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks fun. <laughs> you, want, you want some of this action? I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm lubed up. I'm <laughs> I'm already slippery. <laughs> well, Joel tells me everything looks good. All my welds are good. No hot spots in there. So that's a good thing. Get this side put back together and then we'll do the other side. I say we, like I'm helping her or something, but I'm not. Joel's doing it all. You act like I'm a trained <laughs> professional or something. I know what I'm talking about here. Now the point of all this is, is not a how-to video or how to pack your bearings or anything like that. The point that we're trying to make is you got to do some maintenance before you head out for your camping season. So if that means getting on the roof, inspecting the roof, putting some new ceiling on, you know, checking your brakes, doing your bearings, whatever kind of maintenance you need to do, check your owner's manual. A lot of people neglect to look at their owner's manual. Your owner's manual will tell you exactly when you need to do all of your maintenance stuff. So one of the things that we always do to get prepared for the camping season is maintenance. Well, that's it. Yep. That's a couple of the things that we did to get ready for the spring camping season. Yeah. And I'm sure our friends over on the other channels have some wonderful ideas also. Yeah, like we said earlier, we do the major stuff regularly because we're full-timers. Yeah. So that's a constant. But to get ready for spring and the big moving out and having fun summer, this is what we have to do. 
Exactly. So don't forget to pop over to those other channels and see what they are doing to get ready for their spring camping season. And we will leave a playlist in the description of this video so that you can go watch them all. We'll also leave a link to all those other channels in case you want to go and check them out. Leave us a comment and let us know what you do for spring cleaning and getting ready for the spring camping season. And also leave us a comment and let us know if there's a topic that you'd like us to talk about in yeah. these future collaborations. Stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.